Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to talk about users. Users are end users. These are people who are accessing the applications that you build, the applications that you added here in the Apps tab. They could be mobile, they could be IoT, they could be web app, whatever you're building. Uh, users are different than admins, which we cover in a different tutorial. Admins are people who are logged into this system and able to do everything that we're covering in these tutorials. So users, again, are end users. All of the end users can be programmatically created via the API. So there's a whole user API, uh, and you can use that API to create users from your application via, say, self-service registration in your own application. Uh, or you can administer as an admin and add users manually. Say you have an internal department of employees and you want tight control, you can create those users in this user interface as well. So you can do it both ways. So here you'll see all of the users listed uh, in a list. So every user that gets created is in a database uh, that comes with Dream Factory. And to create a user, you just go here and put in some basic information. Uh, the schema of this uh, can be customized uh, as well. Uh, and there are different tutorials about how to do that. Again, you can just put in an email, first name, last name, display name, phone, and you can optionally send an email invitation, which will go to them, and then they can add their own uh, username and password credentials, or you can just set the password manually and uh, tell them to reset it if they want uh, and when they log in. So that's another option. In terms of uh, managing the list, you can obviously delete people, you can uh, edit their record, you can upload and export users, and you can toggle the different views as well. So that's all there. And then in terms of editing users, very straightforward. You can click on any of these people in the list and you'll get their information. You can obviously update the form here. You can resend an invite if you want, if they lost their invite and couldn't get in. The other thing is here, you set their roles. So this is really important. You can also do this programmatically when you create users in your own application, um, or you can do it manually. So the important construct to understand here is that users have any number of roles, and those roles are specific to the applications that are in the Apps tab. So let's take a simple example. We imported our address book application for iOS. We have a number of different roles that we created in the Roles tab. The roles govern access to the API. They really govern the control over what data these people can be accessing via the application. So I've set up a role for this particular address book, which is different than the other roles. It has very specific permissions, and I'm tying that role to this particular user. So applications can have many roles, and then users can have many roles. It's a many-to-many -many data model. So that's the important thing to understand there. Then the other thing is, I'll quickly cover lookup keys. This is a more advanced feature. If a user has specific special permissions, let's say, for example, to an Oracle database that has role permissions that are in some tables, you can basically pass through those credentials like this access key directly to the API to that, in this example, to that particular Oracle database. These are key value pairs. You can have as many as you want. So think of these as special permissions that uh, specific users have. So that's basically it. That's users in a nutshell. I will point out one other thing that's important. In addition to manually creating these users here, you can go to our wiki, wiki.dreamfactory.com, and head on down to the tutorials, and there's a tutorial uh, on creating users. And here we've covered a little bit about the, uh, the user interface part, which is very straightforward. Uh, but this also provides the API endpoints that you can use to create users programmatically from your application, that is using the system API, or rather the user API that's provided automatically by Dream Factory. So check that out as well. So that's it on users. Uh, check out all of our other tutorials on the other parts of the user interface here, including admins, roles, services, etc. on YouTube, as well as our documentation on wiki.dreamfactory.com. Thanks.